welcome to student checkup excel one three. so we're going to go ahead and start with our excel one two workbook open and we're going to rename it to um, your initial student checkup excel one three. there we go so i went ahead and named it excel one three at the end there i just changed that right so what we're going to do here to begin with is we're going to change the sheet name. So within an Excel workbook, we have sheets, right? So we have one sheet in this workbook right now, and its name is Sheet 1. We can rename the sheet a couple different ways. We can go down to the sheet area here. We can right-click on it and, and choose Rename, or we can just double-click on the uh, Sheet 1 name, and it highlights there, and I can rename it. This is supposed to be... Uh, rest okay so that's the new name of our sheet here and then we want to also change this uh, tab right here using the color tab we want to change it to red so now that, that we have it it's changed to red if we had another sheet in this workbook here like like this for example if we were on this new sheet we could see that that tab is red once it's selected, you really can't see. You can see just uh, lightly here at the bottom that it is red. So, so anyways, I'll go ahead and get rid of this other uh, sheet here. I was just doing that to show you kind of what what it would look like. So you can you can actually color all your tabs, and then there would be multiple colors at the bottom to kind of help guide you if you had one with multiple sheets to find the right sheet. So now what we need to do is we need to add a row. So the, the textbook, I think, has this a little wrong. So it says to add a row below 7. We are actually going to add a row below 6. Uh, we're going to click 7, though, right? So we're going to uh, select the row 7. I'm going to go ahead and right-click on that and select Insert. Okay, and so there's our new row right there. And that new row, we're going to go ahead and... Uh, we're going to put in the new information into that row that's given to us. And so we see after we've entered all the data in for this row that our total uh, field here at the end of this row is not working correctly, right? So it's not on there. So we'll go ahead and select the, the field above it and uh, do the fill handle downward to then um, copy basically the formula formula into our new row all the formatting looks good though and so that's that's good though uh, we just need to uh, fill in that blank totals field at the very end all right so there's one thing that i need to tell you here and that is we need to hide our uh, row eight right so our row eight here is our barbecue corn on the cob and we need to hide that row, so we need to select that row. So we can see here, I left clicked on the, on the number eight here, uh, which selected the row, and then we need to right click and come down here and select hide. So, and then that will hide that row. We can see that right in here between seven and nine, we see that there is a little uh, space in here, right? Right, right there. Uh, if we wanna unhide it, we can go ahead and select seven and nine and our, uh, our right click and then uh, select unhide, right? So there's our unhide and we can go ahead and select eight again and hide it again. So that's one thing you need to do. That's on number seven of uh, the assignment. So now we're gonna do some check spelling right here. So we're gonna go ahead and go to the review tab we're going to go to our spelling. We want to we want to make sure that our uh, cursor before we hit that spelling button. We want to make sure we're at the top of the worksheet or the, the very beginning of the workbook. So we can go ahead and select A1, or if we're down here, we can do Control Home, and it will take us to A1 as well. So whatever works best for you. And now we're going to go ahead and hit spelling, and we're going to do any of the corrections. So you see that pork on the pulled pork was intentionally spelled incorrectly. If you fixed it, it's not gonna show up here. If you fixed it as you were doing your data entry, uh, knowing that it was incorrect, right? You might've went ahead and did that. 
if you didn't do that and actually typed it in how it's put in the book, then uh, we're going to correct that now, right? So go ahead and hit change, and so that'll correct that. And that's the end of that. So if we had some more errors, it would go ahead and pick those up uh, on our way down. One of the things with the, the spelling check is it starts from the, bot, the top of your workbook or the top of your worksheet and works down. So that's why you have to have that cursor all the way at the top. You noticed as we went down, it actually was stuck on the pulled pork, our last f field that we corrected. So, so anyways, now we're going to go ahead and go to the, our page layout, and we're going to go to orientation, and we're going to switch it to landscape. Now we're going to go to the page setup launcher, which is right here. I'm going to go ahead and click that, and we're going to, uh, that pops up. And then we're going to go down here to uh, under scaling, we're going to click this fit to radial button here and it's going to be one page wide and one page tall which that's the default settings on that and then we're going to go to margins and we're going to click on the center on page horizontally and we can see that change right here right so if we look at this little graphic here it's going to show us how that's going to print out right really all this stuff as we do the landscape view and as we uh, change how the page is set up, that's really going to impact how it's printed and how it, sh how it shows up, right? So um, click on the horizontal and you can see that move over. So it'll print, uh, if we printed our worksheet, it's going to show up centered horizontally onto the page. Now we're going to go to the headers and footers and our header, we're going to select our uh, file name and our footer we're going to select our worksheet name then we're going to go ahead and click the print preview button and there it it shows up so it's centered horizontally it's going to have our file name on top and it's going to have our uh, sheet name on the bottom we can go ahead and return back to our sheet by clicking this uh, this arrow button. Uh, we can go to also if we go to the backstage from here, right? So we're in our main thing. We hit file. It's going to take us to the backstage. We can do our uh, print and that automatically pulls up the preview as well from there and that'll allow us to print. There's lots of options that we did um, in the main view, right? That we can also do here in the backstage view on the print preview. like switching uh, our orientation and uh, centering and uh, fitting onto one page. So you don't have to print this off uh, as you submit your assignment for this one. I'm going to pull it up and I'm going to look at all the print previews just to make sure you have everything set correctly on this and um, it should be good. So go ahead and make sure this is saved and uh, uploaded into Canvas. If you have any questions let me know and I'm Glad to help you and uh, have a good day and we'll see you later. Bye.